they bring a sense of scale. They add a layer of things which you don't get from modern furniture. Wouldn't you agree, yeah, Emma? Totally. They say so much about the person who's, who's chosen them, who's created mm. them. I mean, in this house, we can see there's a bit of a theme going mm. with lovely woods. And, and the lacquer furniture as well, yeah. which is divine yeah. in, it's gorgeous, in a period isn't it? house. What one defines as antique nowadays does push the boundaries a bit because mm. we can go all the way from 16th early, century up to the, yeah, you know, the mid-century mid mid -century stuff and the way in which you put things together and mm. how you use antiques just creates a fascinating dynamic in terms of mixing yeah. periods up. But it's such a joy and actually confidence is the word that springs to mind coming into this house, mm. isn't it? It's such a glorious sort of time capsule. It feels very personal mm. as well, so without contradicting oneself, although it looks like an interior decorator yeah. is curated it's very this, much it feels like home, a family home yeah. where, where the, the, the owners lovely. have had a real involvement in terms mm. of what they want to have around them. Well, I love that feeling when we went into the drawing room and it's full of bibelots, bits mm. of china and stuff, and you can imagine small grandchildren mm. kind of, you know, longing to touch and, and see all these things by granny and say, don't touch! Don't but, touch the snuff boxes. But, but then the, they, will, they will then have kind of gathered a wonderful take on it because of those bibelots' relationship with their grandparents. Mm. I think it's really interesting here that there's clearly a personality running through and one would mm. want it to be the personality of the, the owners in terms of putting their imprint on yeah. a sort of decorated interior. I mean, I'm sure you agree as well, but there's nothing worse than sort of actually picking every single thing for a client and mm. having no feedback from them at all and they're just buying into your, your view idea of, of what, what they should how be. they should be. Mm. It's, it's, yeah, it's lovely, it's isn't it? The, the strong, game we play, isn't it? To try and bring out yeah, that personality. The strong sort of floral, the very strong needlework mm. element in this house, which is absolutely lovely, isn't it? I mean, it? there is a kind of masculine and feminine mm, there is, isn't there? It's tension a going on. Yang. Because you've got the needlework mm. pictures, you've yeah. got the, the embroidery, you've got the little bibelots, but then yeah. you've got very strong pieces as well, which mm. clearly... You yeah. know, like this and the oyster cabinet have got a much more of a sort of masculine vibe. Yeah, so it's a it, it very happy is a, marriage, isn't it? It seems there? to be a happy marriage yeah. in terms of making choices that suit him and her. I mean, it does feel as though we're in a house which was inhabited by very acquisitive people, mm. which is yeah. not a bad thing since it's you and I both thing. suffer from that <laughs> exactly. vice as well. There are some exceptional pieces in here, like the japanned mm. bureau in the drawing room which clearly is head and shoulders above some of its neighbouring pieces. But yeah. that juxtaposition of having things which mm. are exceptionally good yeah. against things which are more humble well, everything is all part benefits. Of, it, it's part of that dynamic yeah. of how things mix and the tension you get from it, which is what yes. I read as being exciting. Well, and also that's what makes the, the better things look more human in a way. Oh, come on, we've admitted we're both acquisitive. What do you think you'd like to take home from here? Well, I know I'm going to have to fight you for it, but I really like that mirror, the cross-shaped mirror in the master bedroom yeah, with the gilt I've, frame. I've never it's seen so the like before. It's, I really like that. Yeah. Um, I'd like that, please. I'd like the decanters, the ones um, which are on the windowsill, the with beautiful... The, with the reading. Yes, the exactly. Yeah. I think they're sensational. There's a wonderful early 18th century painting by Alboto above the chimney piece oh, in the, the drawing room. Yes, in the okay. Doge's Palace. And I'm, I'm what about, working well, if you're going to have that, then you might as well have the mirrors either side, because you like those too. Yes, I did. They're stunning. Mm. The other thing that is amusing and would be super to have for picnics or for Oh, no, not, not the little the bottle, bottle carrier. Um, absolutely. Oh, well, we might have the rest of each other for <laughs> We're that just going to come to blows, aren't we? Fisticuffs. Well, we just have to go on picnics together. And okay, perfect, perfect. Okay. perfect. Right.